Quarterback Neil Lomax now holds 52 individual national records. If you have never witnessed Portland State University football, the nation's most productive and exciting passing game in all of NCAA college football, you're in for a sports treat. Neil is one of our most famous student athletes that has ever graced the halls of Portland State University. He really exemplifies what it means to be a Viking. He started here on a partial scholarship. He was a fifth string quarterback and went on to have an amazing career here at Portland State and then beyond in the NFL. Neil held 90 NCAA records while he was here at Portland State. He was drafted to the St. Louis Cardinals and had an amazing career there too. I think he had over 22,000 passing yards, was on the All-Pro team in 84 and 87. Also during those years, he was named his team's MVP. It's just, uh, it's a testament to who he is, not only on the field, but off the field. So in 2009, I met Neil. He called me two days after I was selected to be the head coach at Roosevelt High School taking over a program that hadn't won a game in three years. There were 18 kids in the program. Their cumulative grade point average is a 1.2. Neil came in when we got started and I think he believed that the kids were gonna be awestruck. NFL quarterback, broke all the records. The kids really didn't care who he was. We lost every game our first year, but we instituted a culture there. Uh, we had mandatory tutoring for the first hour before practice, and we talked about trying to build young men of character, to love the kids, to teach them how to be good men, good husbands and fathers someday. And we talked to the kids about being a foundation of something special. And that first year, those kids, we got beat every game. It was pretty, pretty rough, but the kids kept coming back. By 2013, we won the PIL for the first time in 18 years. We had 86 kids in our program. We had three levels. Our cumulative team GPA was a 3.1 that year. We went to the postseason six years in a row at Roosevelt after that first season. Very, very proud of what we accomplished both on and off the field uh, in the time that we were there together. Lomax is, is more of a coach to me. You know, he's more of a father figure, a life mentor, somebody that I look up to and really helped me molded him to be a man. He actually took me into his home because I was actually homeless freshman year. And so Lomax is a really inspirational person in my life. And uh, I wouldn't be the person I am today, honestly, if it wasn't for some of the guidance Lomax has given me. And uh, I appreciate him, you know? When I was in high school, I had a daughter and I was bringing her to Roosevelt. She had had a daycare there. So she came with me to school every day. And uh, I was late to practice a lot of times. And um, Neil always asked me like, you know, what's going on, like why are you always late? Finally, like I told him, you know, I have a daughter and I have to like, you know, take her over here, over there, and have like a car or anything like that. So I had to take her to get kind of daycare. And when he got to understand that and got to hear my story, uh, touched him and he was able to help me even further with football, school, really just had that positive impact on me. Neil's commitment to get in the game is what separates him uh, from a lot of people. Uh, he's willing to roll up his sleeves and ultimately be, I think, what a team player is. You know, do his part and connect other people, and he does that very well. I'm Miles Davis, and I was the football coach here at the turn of the century. <laughs> he's just a good kid, and I think he's got the right kind of thought process. Like right now, as we speak, he's coaching a high school over in Vancouver as a labor of love to help kids out. I mean, I'm very proud. I was so proud when I, when I would sprint out the tunnel in the NFL games, and I would hear them say, playing quarterback, you know, six foot three, 220 pounds from Portland State. There are not a lot of people in the league who are gonna have that introduction from Portland State. I was so proud of that, and I'm proud of that today, that I'm from Portland State. And I'll always be loyal to the, to the university, loyal to the programs here. Um, I'm gonna help out any way I can, if it's either the three T's, if it's my time, I'll give my time, my talent, I'll give my talent. If it's treasure, I'll give my treasure. And that's how I feel about it, I always will.